Hello everybody, my name is Jonathan Quissis, and today we are going to code the merge sort algorithm in Python. So we're going to create a new Python file called merge sort 13 since I've done 13 of these now. <laughs> so we will first define our merge sort method or function. So we'll call that merge sort and it'll take one array. Now we want to find out if the length of the array is less than or equal to one. So we go if the length of array is less than or equal to one, we want to return that array. Simple. Now we want to define our left and right arrays. So left, right equals a recursive call merge sort to our merge sort algorithm. So it'll take the left half of the array. But before we do that, we need to put a midpoint. And midpoint is the middle of the array. So we're going to take the length of the array and then divide that by two. And of course, it's an integer, right? So the left half will be everything up to the midpoint, and the right half will be another recursive call to merge sort array from midpoint uh, midpoint to the end. Then all we have to do is return a new function that we will call merge, and it'll take the left and right half of the arrays. Now we will define the merge function. Merge left, right. We need a result array. So we will have result equals a new array, and then we will have left index and right index. Or what I like to do is have left pointer equals right pointer. And of course, it's going to be set to zero. So now we have to have a while loop while there are both elements in the left and the right arrays. So to do that, we will have if left pointer is less than the length of the left array and right pointer is less than the length of the right array. So while there are elements in both arrays, while there are elements in both arrays, we need to check which index in the array is lower. So if we have le if left left pointer, if the element at left pointer in the left array is less than right right pointer, so the right element at right pointer in the right array, we know that the element in the left array is smaller. So what we want to do is append that result to the result array. like so. And then of course, after that, we want to increment left pointer plus equals one. Else if this is not the case, there is only one other conclusion. So result.append right right pointer. And of course, we want to increment right pointer plus equals one. Now, if this is not the case, and this while loop does not trigger, we know that there are either elements in the left array or the right array. So a quick way to do this, kind of a cheaty way to do this, is we can do result.extend the elements in left from left pointer, left pointer, all the way to the end. And we can do result.extend right, right pointer to the end. Essentially, this is taking this line right here, line 30, is taking everything from the left array, from left pointer onto the end and extending it to result. Same thing with the right. Now, all we have to do is return the resulting array. And of course, I'll define a main method here. Uh, we will start with an initial array of 5, 4, 4, 3, 2, 1. And of course, uh, let's make it syntactically correct, and then you want to print the array, and then you want to have a new array called results equal to a merge sort of our initial array, and we want to print the result. And we will have an if statement, if name equals main, we want to call main, and that is our whole program. So when we return, when we uh, run this, 
we'll see in the console here, we have 54321, which is our initial array, and we have the resulting array, which is our sorted array 12345. Now, I went, I went through this pretty quickly, but here's the code once again. You have two functions. You have the merge sort function, which is going to be in our call to array, right here, our resulting array. And then we have the merge function, which merges the, both the left and the right half of the arrays. So this is the merge sort algorithm coded in Python. Um, I, once again, I am Jonathan Quissis, and I hope you enjoyed.